Hello people, we are back at it with another Chipotle recipe and it's my favorite salsa they have. It's the roasted corn and plobano salsa. Really simple to make, really fresh. It's got a little bit of sweetness, a little bit of spiciness. It's got a little bit of tastiness, <laughs> a couple of tastes in here, bro. All you're gonna do is take some corn on the cob and some poblanos, spray them with a little bit of veggie or canola oil, pop them around in there, hit them with a little bit of salt, and then throw those into a really hot oven, 450, 500 degrees, and roast them off for about 15 minutes until they're nice and brown. Do it. Do it. You can do it, put your ass into it. <laughs> you can do it, put your chipotle in it, through it. Don't do it. <laughs> when your corn and poblano are roasting in the oven, just turn them a few times throughout, maybe every five minutes. You want them to brown on all sides. While that's roasting off, we're actually gonna cut up some fresh ingredients. So we're gonna do a little bit of cook, a little bit of fresh. What do you got for me, Mike? Start off with some jalapenos. And this is actually in the Chipotle recipe. They use the poblanos for a little bit of earthiness. And then they use some jalapenos for more spice. And Brothers Green were all about the earth, the green field. All about field. the earth. So just give those a rough chop get you a bowl. There's really nothing better than a nice chunky salsa. That's why I like this one the most. Mike likes his salsa like he likes his women. <laughs> that is not true. Chunky. <laughs> <laughs> Notice how Mike, he actually chopped around the jalapeno. This is a kind of a cool way to avoid the extra heat, to avoid the seeds, to avoid the flesh where all the... Yes. All that. I love the flavor of peppers, but sometimes I just can't handle the heat. You know, it's oh, excuse no, me. You're Sorry, still I got, gonna, got some corn in my throat. You're still gonna get plenty of heat with just the outer skin, but you're not gonna be freaking coughing and dying. Some cilantro, chop that up. Same deal, rough chop. Where did you get that knife from? Did you kill a zebra for that thing? <laughs> I killed a zebra. I stuck it in the printer and scanned it right on Is that on why I've been eating so many zebra steaks recently? <laughs> and throw that in. And then we're just gonna wait for the finished poblanos and corn to roast, and then we'll be back. Oh my God, I think I hear it. It's done. <laughs> it's done, it's coming. That's oh. hot. Oh. Hot, hot, hot. Ready to go. So if you can see these puppies, look at that. This is what we're going for. We've charred the outside skin of the poblano and we've mm. got a nice little char in the corn as well. Look at this right here. The skin is just peeling right off of there. And this stuff, not that tasty, the outer skin, but the inside flesh, oh God, it's all roasty and delicious. So just get off as much as possible. And while Mike's doing that, I can just take the exactly. corn. Exactly. Teamwork. And just cut. You know, when you're cutting it off the cob, you just kind of want to find where the inside is and just cut along that. And then all the beautiful kernels just fall off the bone. Basically rocket science. One thing about poblanos is that they're the least hot pepper out of all the really spicy ones. So you've got, you know, jalapeno, serrano, habanero, and the poblano is like the first in line for least spicy, your biggest pussy. But sometimes, every once in a while, a badass poblano sneaks in there and will just blow your mind off. So just be careful. Taste it first. You'll know if you taste a little piece if it's gonna be a hot poblano or not, but I've had a few, I've, I've near killed people with the spiciness. But just give it a, a rough chop. It's gonna chop real easy. And let's taste these to make sure. Smoky. A little bit of heat. It's like you taste the heat, but it's not spicy. Now, this is my kind of salsa right here. Look at that, nice and chunky. Delicious. Yeah, sometimes salsa is like an afterthought. It's all pureed up, it's liquidy. It doesn't have much flavor, it's just kind of there. But make a salsa fresh like this, your friends will be like taking their clothes. They'll do it in kinds of crazy stuff just to get closer to you. Last step, we're gonna take some fresh lime, about a half a lime. You know what, let's just do a fully. It's gonna really just kind of kick it up a notch. Fresh Emerald? blast. Yeah. I'm all I got Bam! There. A little bit Bam. of salt and a little bit of pepper. And then mix. And look, it's so pretty it's looking. Really you see all the char marks in the corn. You got a chip? I don't even need it. This is too fresh. 
Mike and I love cilantro, so sometimes we get, you know, we like to keep it big, but if you don't like that much or if you want it to be, you know, smaller, you can definitely chop it up more. But this kind of salsa is going to take oh your whole God. salsa experience. That's the perfect salsa in my book. Never actually tried this one before, the Chipotle version, but that is good. It's got everything. It's so balanced, it's spicy, mm. it's sweet from the corn. Mm. Chipotle, thank you for these recipes. You're killing it right now.